good morning everyone uh, we release our ai newsletter every monday and there has been lot of updates in the last week that we discussed about uh, that the biggest one is about meta llama 3's launch there was a big buzz about it right now only 7b and the uh, 8b and the uh, 40b parameters have been launched and they have also mentioned that they are going to launch the 400 uh, billion uh, token the one that is uh, going to be a lot of value because that is something really big uh, personally there is seen lot of reviews about this uh, meta ai uh, and uh, it is very similar to gpt 4.5 turbo and cloud 3 the latest uh, models by also by mixtral it is nothing that significant in terms of performance and accuracy but there is a lot of bus meta ai can be accessed through lot of ways facebook uh, they have launched a website which can be used through facebook login but it is not available in the country where i am from uae but uh, with the best ways also then the uh, easiest way is also to take a demo using hugging face because they have shared an inference which i'll quickly show you guys and talk more about uh, this particular uh, launch as well so now uh, this is the new open source llm uh, you can access it as i was mentioning uh, just to check the demo uh, you can check it out here if you go to hugging face and i was just playing around with this hugging face chat if you can see the models uh, meta uh, llama 370b instruct is there the 70 uh, one that i mentioned you can use it 8b is also there uh, 7b so but they have given you option to use this uh, and also there is an option of searching the web uh, as you can see here when enable the model will try to complement its answer with information curated from the web so these are some of the few things that i was trying out earlier on and it gave me little bit uh, not great answers to just to understand which model it was using and it gave me a wrong answer i'm using a desktop but it gave me a 15 pro maybe uh, the phone uh, i'm not sure how it got this information and then i tried to ask about the llm you are using so it did not try to give me much answers maybe i'm using a hugging face inference so that's why it's not able to give me those answers uh, so it just gave me a vague answer plus uh, we have uh, the cut off knowledge cut off that we have we were asking about the knowledge cut off which it was it was not able to give so uh, not that uh, interesting uh, thing that uh, personally i like i feel it is not that revolutionary and also uh, for calculation i try to do a calculation uh, which is also it is approximately uh, it it the calculation the answer is in google cal in the cal calculator it is 740098715 but here there is a difference so the calculation also people were saying it is supposedly be be better in calculation i think uh, this is not uh, doing the uh, giving you the correct option so you have to have the comprehension still it is not uh, up to the mark and in the meta ai launch if uh, the biggest thing is uh, personally what i see is the when the 400 billion token uh, parameter model will be launched and that is going to be revolutionary uh, and it may uh, be more accurate and it may be ground breaking because right now open ai is already been doing those things already but the best thing is personally the best thing is the open source uh, you can uh, try to go to the hugging face uh, and you can try to go to the model page here model page and get all the information about this the uh, from the Uh, the model page you can also go and you can give your access suppose you want to get your access so you can just give basic details uh, and uh, request access and it will take some time for us to uh, get back the thing so select an option united arab emirates uh, and by uh, clicking this uh, you will uh, submit access so affiliation just write community uh, community Build. Let us see if I will get the access. So now uh, uh, the request has been sent for access. Uh, this is the details about this particular in information. You can see already there are so many downloads, twenty thousand downloads that have happened, and all these details are there. Uh, there are right now two. I told eight B and seventy B, and uh, these are the details about this. 
a new mix of publicly available data if you can see the details and uh, here if you the knowledge cutoff is December for the 70 B it is December 2023 this is the cutoff date for this particular thing so there are a lot of information important and, and informative things about Lama uh, the license details is here it was released uh, five days before if you can see and uh, they are using this uh, grouped query attention for improved uh, inference scalability this is some a different type of inferences that uh, other llms don't use so a lot of things are there we'll have a detailed video on meta llama 3 uh, and how to use it if you want to use it with transformers you can just install uh, import transformers and then you in the place of a model uh, you can see model id you can just use this particular thing uh, meta llama 3 and then you can try to run this particular code uh, the so this is the thing that after you get the access just wait for uh, you have given your email id so just wait for you to get an access it will it may take some time uh, eventually you will get the access that is there so now uh, coming to uh, the other details about so yeah it's still not we have not got it it will take some time uh, so these are this is the first important news and we are going to have more details about this uh, G42 is one of the biggest company in UAE and this also I have talked about multiple times that it is doing innovative things in, in, the, in this part specifically in the health domain. Uh, when I talk about health domain, uh, what are the main things that uh, the, the genome data is very different of this region compared to the uh, genome data of any other region uh, like uh, US and we all know that the data uh, that uh, is uh, most of the LLMs and most of the models that have been trained are from the West. So this is some new, uh, you know, uh, they need to do something from this region, the, specifically the Asian region. So this particular uh, G42 has been doing it for a couple of years, they are building their own even large language model for Arabic, their own health m42 health the database and they're doing a lot of innovative things within this region and they are doing it from the ground and that's why microsoft has invested some potential in, in this particular company so that um, it uh, sees it helps in the advancement of the ai technology in this region and this partnership is a very good boost for uh, the UAE specifically the uh, MENA community, the MENA region that companies from uh, the West, the big tech companies are investing and they believe in the talent potential of this particular area. Personally, it is a very uh, good thing for us uh, being in the UAE and seeing the advancements that are there. Uh, we will have more details about this and uh, one of the uh, tools that I personally am using for some of the content generation uh, because it becomes little uh, easy it is putting everything in one place i will create a dub, uh, dummy video a, a demo video uh, showing how uh, to use this tool it is a very good tool it brings everything together uh, you don't need to again search for prompts you don't need to they will understand your pattern and behavior and give you specific outputs every time and you have options to even select models you don't need to take uh, the uh, premium of uh, different different LLMs that you are using and it is one of the best AI powered creativity tool that I have come across and you can also help it for creating SEO uh, content. I will share the link also to get the free access uh, for this tool. Download it, try it for some time. If you like it, then you can continue. Uh, for a small cost uh, or else you can always cancel but try it out it is good there are many tools out there but right sonic is not it is before the uh, chat gpt era boomed right it was this tool was there uh, like jasper this tool was there right sonic was there using these uh, gpts uh, that is uh, prior to the chat gpt buzz they were using these gpts as well to train and to give the completions and it is a good tool try it out and uh, we will share the link with you as well uh, this is a news about from microsoft interesting that the wasa is a it, it's a tool that can generate talking videos by combining a headshot and an audio clip somewhat related to heygen but uh, it is a tool new tool there are any new tool comes with a lot of privacy concerns so still we need to play around how this can be uh, under the 
AI Act of uh, Europe, uh, how this can be uh, made sure that it does not create more deep fakes and cause issues. Adobe Prime is integrating several AI video generation models within its platform and this is very good news because uh, many uh, content or graphic designers are using uh, Adobe Premium tool and they don't need to go to mid journey or any other tool to start uh, creating the uh, applications or the images, the animations, the 3D models. So this is a good news even for these uh, models, right? These multi-model models like Pika, Runway and so right is a, a good opportunity for get, getting the wider audience and access to the uh, to the big chunk of com uh, community who uses Adobe Premiere. Uh, now the, this is the news about US uh, Air Force. They have conducted the first AI dogfight pitting an AI controlled jet against a human piloted jet and it is interesting. It was interesting. More details are there available on the internet about this. The videos are also there and this really demonstrates the growing capability of AI in combat uh, in complex combat situations. Right. And human AI introduced a new gadget called human AI pin, which can record and transcribe uh, the conversations with consent and this is something uh, the future of uh, these technologies coming together and really helping for journalists students or meeting attendees who need to take detailed notes like we have AI tools for meetings which we use specifically for zoom and all those things so it's an amazing tool that is there. Now we have Logitech is introducing an uh, AI prompt builder for their Logitech, uh, Logitech, uh, Logitech mice. And uh, this is a very uh, good uh, way to uh, interact with com uh, the computer uh, and uh, let us see how it goes, uh, not yet tried it, once we try it we will have a, a de quick demo or a quick thought about this. Boston Dynamics is uh, one of the big players who make v uh, robots and they have showcased their new Atlas robot which can now stand and walk. So now Boston Dynamics is also uh, putting a lot of uh, focus on robotics and how AI can be integrated to those robotics. Uh, some of the, uh, the other things that are there, we have make.com is one of the amazing tools for automations. We have Paul Coven, one of our AI community members who is going to do this uh, workshop. To register, you can click in the uh, URL at the comments uh, or on the description as well as the uh, this wonderful uh, talk that we are going to have on Saturday, the 50th community meetup building products for the AI world. So do register for these two events. It's going to be amazing. How to build products is one of the things that we are also pushing a lot in our AI residency program. And uh, if you are not aware of our AI residency program, it is a new initiative wherein you will learn the skills of how you can use the AI technology and uh, build your products, right? Like uh, we learn, use basic Python, AI basics, generative AI basics, build small projects, do some open source contributions if you are in that space, then use uh, more of LLM, rack, fine tuning, build better projects, put in your portfolio, LinkedIn, then create a big wireframe and POC and then monetize your uh, final project monetize or do your final project uh, that has to be uh, shown so these are the things that are there uh, we are uh, there are a lot of things there are a lot of courses that are part of this plus uh, there are a lot of mentors as well so this is something very interesting have a look at this link at uh, below this is very different from a course very different from a, a boot camp it is not even a co cohort where i'm going to teach you xyz it's going to be like a program wherein it's going to be one to one, you come, you talk to me, I guide you and I will give you a path wherein I can help you uh, take it uh, forward. So these are some of the things that I will, I am going to do uh, in this particular program. So now coming to the, uh, what are the things that uh, we uh, want you to do is, this is a part of the weekly uh, updates that we have. Uh, and uh, every mentor tells us that we need to keep up to date with the things that are happening uh, and we try to filter out the main things that are happening in the AI space that you need to know about specifically how technology is evolving and changing and how companies are using it and specifically one of news 
major news from this MENA region as well because we are uh, community based out of this region, global community. So if you like our work, please do uh, like and subscribe this YouTube, spend, spread it across register for the workshops that are going to happen uh, one is going to happen on the 25th that is on the uh, tomorrow evening and the other one is going to happen on uh, saturday uh, 4 pm uh, dubai uh, time and uh, that's it thank you for watching uh, this uh, video and see you in the next uh, video have a great day